You are too late, Siora. Mother has fallen, and we are defeated. No! 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 This is not fair! I am so sorry. Who is this man? He resembles one of us, but is dressed like a Renaigze. I am the ambassador of the Congregation of Merchants. I, I'm sorry for your loss. The Congregation? And what side are you on in this war? Those that massacre our people. Essel, calm down. You know that Mother sent me to seek out allies. You show up when the fight was nearly over. Was this part of your plan? You know that these monsters are taking our own. They must make honorable amends. We did our best to come as fast as we could, and I fought by your side. Please, please take the time to at least hear me out. There has already been enough death and you are wounded. This is not the time for vengeance. You may be right. Waiting for my vengeance will make it taste all the sweeter. I feel weak. Might I ask you to watch over our own Siora? I must return to the village. Go on ahead. We will tend to the wounded. Won't we now? Yes. We will do everything we can. And find my mother. Or her body, if... If she is indeed dead. Look at this massacre. How? Find her banner. It bears the symbol of our clan. There is a survivor. Let's heal him. You now have enough strength to return to the village. Find Arwand. He will take care of you. Oh, these ruins are very strange. By what name did you call this place again? The Dida Keaton Nadai Gaze. There was once a battle in the past. A great victory for our clans. Hmm, strange indeed. These walls are completely foreign to the styles of your own dwellings. Does this name that you gave the ruins mean anything in particular? Yes. It means ruins of the first guardian. I would like to dig around a little on the side. You might be able to unearth clues as to who actually built them. 
Over there. I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. Give you help me. And still you dare to breathe. How can you hope that I am here to save you? No, I. What have you done with my mother? Pity, I, I beg of you. I, I don't want to die. Then answer! Siora. Need some help? They took her! The Queen! <laughs> we must find her! I will not leave her to their whims! If your mother is in the hands of Bridge, they'd have taken her to the closest camp. Promise me that we will do everything we can to bring her back.
Look, there are some images on these walls. Let's get... This is the first time I've seen these drawings so closely. You've never come here. You certainly seem to know the place. This site is sacred and taboo. Everyone knows where it is, but no one ever comes here. All these colors are so beautiful. I never would have imagined that they could create something so delicate. Well, who are you talking about? Of those who built these lodgings. That my ancestors vanquished in a past war. You know who they were? I only know the legend. The legend of Dida Kid and Nadaigi. I'm listening. It is said our people lived peacefully until the men appeared from the sea, intent on making our lands their own. They dug great caverns into the earth, ripped down our forests, destroying everything in their wake. They were evil. The warriors killed so many people that even their own people came to fear them. Here, they built a terrible city that spewed out clouds of cinder and death. Our kings and queens were desperate. They went to the heart of our island, and the island heard them. From the woods appeared the first guardian. He was taller than a city, and with each step it smashed a lodging. It was a guardian of Rat, and the city could not resist him. Since then, the Earth answers our call for magic, and in exchange, we become all Manawi. In keeping with the pacts our kings and queens once made. Oh, it is a very sad and terrible legend. I wonder who these people from the sea could have been. Oh, people from the continent, no doubt. Our oh, Malachor might well be the cursed result of that war from another age. Let's finish our investigation of these ruins. There may still be a few survivors to save, but I will need to speak of this with Constantine. Let's make sure. You now have enough strength to return to the village. Find Arwen. He will take care of you.
Over there. I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. We'll find nothing more of interest in these ruins. Let's be off.
Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Green blood! I can't hold on much longer!
Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? So? Did they take the bait? Yes, Your Excellency. And I am very happy to see you. One of them came to the shop yesterday. He gave me 24 hours to raise the money required, which means that the entire gang could appear any minute now. Perfect. I'll hide and wait for their arrival. And rest assured, I will not let them go. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. I hope you have what we're looking for, my good friend. Our man with the silver coin is not known for his patience. Well, I, I moved heaven and earth to collect the sum, but alas, I, I ran out of time. More fool you if you think Egon will be satisfied with your sorry excuses. You know what happens to those who refuse to pay. Lead this man alone at once. You're under arrest. We'll see about that. And who will stop us? We are the guard. You certainly don't deserve such a name. Bunch of cowards. Yield without a fuss and you'll have the right to a trial. Really? And then it'll be the gallows. Do you think we're pushovers? Move away! Uh. 
Things are about to get dicey. <laughs> I'm eternally grateful, Your Excellency. You saved my trade. And my life. Stay alert. Their leader was obviously not present. I heard about the man with the silver coin, but this is the first time they told me his name. If they let him escape, it's only because they were thinking of killing you. I beg you, find this Egon and stop him. None of us will be safe as long as he's free. Don't worry. I don't intend to let him go. You'll find all you need in our selection. Whatever you need to be the talk of all serene. Are your boots Is your hat out of style? We must find this Egon. At the barracks, perhaps. I doubt our man goes openly by that name. It is the silver coin we must look for. You'll find all you need in our selection. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? You have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. We were not able, alas, to stop the clash between the forces of the Alliance and Siora's clan. We arrived at the village and the battlefield too late. The Queen fell. I'm extremely sorry for your loss, Princess. Thank you. My sister survived, fortunately, and we are recovering from this tragedy together. But our clan was extremely weakened by this battle and by recent events. We shall keep a close eye on the Bridge Alliance and their undertakings. Rest assured. You should know that the battle took place in the middle of ancient ruins. The ruins were quite strange. We discovered a fresco that I'm certain was crafted by continental hands. Really? And how ancient are these ruins? Could they date back to the first landings of the Bridge Alliance? They date much farther back than their arrival would explain. My mother and my grandmother have always known them. Siora told me of a legend that spoke of them, about a people from the sea that were vanquished there. Do you think it was the Norts? 
It is not our custom to found a landlocked settlement. We have our islands, and it is enough for us. If they are ancient, perhaps your people once practiced older customs. This story is troubling, but it reminds me of something that I once read in the reports of Lady Morange. You should go and find her. Perhaps she could tell us more about them. Very well. Anything else? Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course. Sir de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? What do you know about the ruins found to the northwest of here? <laughs> the site that the natives call Didakidnadagase. That is not how we pronounce it, but yes, we are speaking of the same place. <laughs> your language is difficult to master, but I find it fascinating. Uh, to answer your question, I had countless questions about the place when our explorers and scouts first brought back sketches. Intrigued, I went there. I noted the architecture and their decorations. It is certain that they bear a striking resemblance with continental constructions, but they are more ancient. Too old to have been recently built by the Bridge Alliance settlers when they first set foot on the island. I even questioned the natives, but they only spoke of a people of the sea. My first thoughts went to the Norts, but they're not known for building large towns, less so cities. There are other ruins on a cliff to the east of here. Perhaps they hide the key to this mystery. I hoped to organize an expedition, but the region is dangerous and hard of access. We explored mines at the bottom of the cliff, but we were not able to find an access to the plateau. If the mystery of these ruins intrigues you as much as me, it is in that direction that you should begin to look for answers. Can I help you with any other matter? What can you tell me about the relations we have with other nations? We play a difficult role caught between these two enemy nations who are nonetheless our allies. The smallest action could tip the balance and draw us into their conflict. If I may offer some advice, be very careful. We do not want a war to break out here. My lady, I have to go. Goodbye.
So, men, how's it going? Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Nothing to report. All our friends are quiet. Perfectly quiet. As soon as they hear about a silver coin, they start trembling. Good. It would be a shame to have to make another example of them, right? Oh, there's no need, Lieutenant. They've been as sweet as lambs since... Renault's accident. Accidents happen so quickly. I'm waiting for another delivery today. Have you seen your comrades? No, they must have stopped at the tavern on the way. As soon as we see them, we'll send them your way, Lieutenant. I hope those idiots aren't drinking my dew. No one would dare do that to you, Lieutenant. I hope not. Or I'll have to remind them that the silver coin can shake everyone. Even the guards. Well, I'll leave you. I have urgent business to attend to. Now, don't forget to send me those drunkards. Farewell, Lieutenant. There's no doubt. Here is our man. Let's follow him discreetly. Who are you? You're following me. Indeed. We would like to talk to you about the silver coin, Egon. It's now or never. Egon? <laughs> you must be mistaken. I don't know anyone by that name. Do not take us for fools. We heard you speak with your men. I don't know what you've heard, but you're wrong. I'm not Egon. Regardless, you are implicated in a murder and in the extortion of merchants. You are therefore under arrest. And we will finish by having you tell us who Egon is and where to find him. Oh yes, we'll see about that. Too much! Egon? Do not take it. Regard, you are there. For oh, yes. Found it, <laughs> To my health. And death to the others. To my health. And death to the others. So, have you finally decided to follow us? So you can torture me? You can do whatever you want. I'll not tell you anything. I don't know who Egon is. I'm just a middleman. You're wasting your time. You must know more than you're willing to say. Come on! I'd rather die. <laughs> The silver coin, his symbol of recognition. I have to show it to Manfred.
A lawyer, Excellency. What can I do for you? No, thank you. <laughs>